You got to be too brave. We'll go full, we'll go full <laughs> like, headbangers ball with this one. This one's about how you should always follow your dreams. Follow them. You don't want to look back in, you know, X amount of years and just be like, man, I didn't do All right, we're going to play the song. That was so sweet. <laughs> Anyway, my name is Aiden Schultz. I play guitar and I sing. My name is Harley Holderby. I play bass and sing. My name is Braden Cohn and I just play drums. How do you define your music, your genre? I feel like skate punk is like a, it's a loose enough spectrum. Because we get in and out of grunge, we get in and out of skate punk, hardcore. How would you guys define like making it big? Making it big. For me, it's just like being able to make money off my music enough to like sur enough to survive. survive. If you can do what you love and get by, and I mean, that's meeting making it big in the community, being with the people you love, being around the people that you you love, that that's making it big. How did each of you guys get introduced to skate punk and like thrash metal? Definitely, I discovered it through my family. My dad's a musician. My dad just like gave me a bunch of CDs. I would have certain CDs that like I needed to listen to every day. I just saw the spark immediately, and I was like, "That's that's my music. That's my style." What what's something that you really enjoy about like the punk scene? Like why? It it speaks to you. It's cool that there's a space where people can dress how they want to dress and act how they want to act. If someone falls, people pick them up. It feels like such a community. What I love about the newer generation, your generation, it, you squeeze every bit of fun out of every kind of music you see. My dad was in a thrash band called Mordred, still is. I found a video of him stage diving in like 1986 at a, a punk show at this place called The Farm. And I like zoomed in and I was like, hey dad, were you at the show? And he's like, I have no idea, but that looks exactly like me. Can you tell us a little bit about your life outside of the band? Work at this place called Pizza Pirate. I've been working here on and off since I was 16. Do you like your job? The money's nice, you know, it, it pays, it pays the quote unquote bills, you know. I'm in Chabot College in Hayward. So besides college and work, I pretty much just do music. When you're, unfortunately, the person that has to express themselves through music, and it's a curse as much as it's a blessing, you just have to do it no matter what. I am Scott Holderby, Harley Holderby's father. I know Harley devotes a lot of time, at least in our last interview, saying how you are like one of his biggest inspirations. No one says their dad turns them <laughs> on to this stuff. I mean, you know. <laughs> He used to play drums. And then one day he said, Dad, there's this band. They need a bass player. I was all like, sure, dude, I'll play bass. And I'm like, well, you don't really play bass. And he's like, yeah, but I could. So he's like, Dad, give me one bass lesson. I just took my dad's bass, and that was on a Friday, and we jammed that following Monday. He's been playing with them ever since. I'm very impressed by that. <laughs> he just picked it up and did it. And that's what it takes. From the girlfriend standpoint, it's obviously like I see a lot of how much effort Harley puts into it. When I'm not with him texting like, oh, where are you at? And he's out with Aiden until 4 a.m. putting up flyers and having fun. It is very professional and very focused and this is what they want to do with their life, but they also have so much fun with it. I'm running out of like, I'm running out of brain cells right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> They put so much into the music. What is that feeling of when you're up on stage, like looking at the audience? How does that impact you? It's definitely like a high in and of itself. Jumping off the stage, jumping off the drum riser. Braden's always back there moving around, you know, flinging his hair. Being on stage and all that is as corny as it sounds, but like a feeling like pretty much no other. It's a magical thing that I can't even explain. You have to love what you do because there's so many things, so many reasons why you shouldn't do it, why there are so many obstacles and not as much help and encouragement as you would want. It was tough telling people, oh yeah, I'm a musician, and they would just make fun of you. I would never be anything like, oh, you, you don't look like you could be a musician. Being put down on the way up. Musicians are valued less than they were in the past. You 
put all this energy, this time, this money into recording an album and then you just give it away for free. You pay for it and then you give it away. Can you guys tell us about your road trip? Going down to Southern Cal was a really big deal for us. All the shows that we did down there, it seemed like we were really well received and like people wanted to take pictures with us. We sold a bunch of merch. We have already been doing this for like going on a three years now. And I think that really just solidified, okay, this is exactly what we want to do. Now let's come back and do it again here, but we got to go around the whole US, the whole world doing this. We're planning an East Coast tour. We're trying to hit up New York, Philadelphia, New Jersey. We'll hopefully be back in San Diego. And we're going to also try to go to Texas. No procrastinating, just getting on it and making it happen. What would you do if you quote unquote didn't make it? In my opinion, there's no if. We got to make this happen. We're gonna make this happen. We're gonna do everything we can to make this happen. And we're gonna put everything into this. I'm not gonna take no for an answer because of all the time and effort that we put into it. The friends that I have right now from you know school and growing up in this tiny little town. Now those people that I grew up with come to the shows. I bet they never thought they were gonna do that when I, we were in second grade and I was trying to start a band. Now here we are. Come to my shows. Our shows. I'm in our shows. <laughs> Ball every day Can't think of the West we say